Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. David Miranda is an out gay Brazilian politician who, in 2016, made Brazilian history as the first gay politician elected to Rio de Janeiro's city government. The city of Rio de Janeiro is the capital of the Brazilian state of the same name, the second most populous city in all of Brazil, and the sixth largest city in the Americas. So this feat was a massive win for the LGBTQ community in Brazil and the Western Hemisphere. Miranda grew up in Rio's well-known favela, Jacarezinho, a favela being a Brazilian term for a ghetto with mostly black and poor residents. At a young age, his mother passed away, and by 13, he was living and working to survive independently. In his early 20s, Miranda would meet and fall in love with his now husband, famed American journalist Glenn Greenwald, and the two would become engaged soon after, eventually raising two sons and a whopping 25 rescue dogs. By 2013, Miranda began his work in politics and made history, becoming one of the first openly gay elected officials in the history of the city of Rio de Janeiro. Miranda would be elected alongside Marielle Franco, the incredibly popular gay and women's rights leader, who was galvanizing black, brown, and LGBTQ Brazilians to become more involved in politics. Brazil, though known as a cultural and racial melting pot for many years, has become a country that has sadly become infamous for its growing racial disparities and attacks on the LGBTQ community in the massive country. Like the U.S., in 2016, the country saw growing racial biases and conservatism ramp up in the country with the election of conservative, homophobic, and racist politicians. As part of the Socialism and Liberty Party, Maria Franco and David Miranda became the face of the growing LGBTQ rights movement in the country, but the two politicians received various death threats for their activism. In Brazil, violence against women and LGBTQ people is a humanitarian crisis. In 2020, more than 150 trans people were murdered, and many acts of violence against the LGBTQ community go underreported. In 2018, the incredibly influential and popular politician Maria Franco was murdered, causing a national outcry, bringing attention to the prominence of violence against women and LGBTQ people in Brazilian society and culture. Luckily, arrests have been made in her death since, but her death took a toll on the community members across Brazil but many continue to challenge the homophobic and racist biases in the Brazilian government. Through his work, Miranda has helped open youth centers in Rio's favelas and passed Miranda's Law, a reform that allows for trans people in Rio de Janeiro to use their chosen name on government documents.